Hello, welcome to Data Research Labs. For this tutorial, we're going to discuss how to generate a data dictionary from an existing schema using a SQL script in Oracle. Do you need to generate a data dictionary from an existing schema where the schema name, the table name, the ordinal position, the column name, whether or not it's a key, foreign key, primary key, unique key, maybe it's both, the data type, whether or not it's nullable, and really important, the description. As long as it's present in the schema, we can pull it out. Do you want to have all those things automatically generated into a data dictionary from an existing schema? First, a demo for downloading the SQL script. Open a browser and the URL set it to github.com slash data research labs, all one word, no www. Hit enter to pop that up. And the site will vary depending on what I've checked in or out. So scroll until you see SQL scripts, click that to open it. And for this demo, we're doing Oracle, so expand Oracle, and we're doing the data dictionary SQL script, so expand that, and there's the file. You can download it, or what I'm going to do is actually click the file, click raw, highlight a little bit, control A, control C, there. Now I've copied the entire script contents. I can pop open Notepad and paste it in and save it and run it and use it. So there we go. Open Notepad, paste it, and I'm ready to go. Next, a demo for generating the data dictionary table, running the script that we just downloaded in the prior demo. So here I have dBeaver. You can use whatever SQL ID you want. And I've opened it up to Oracle, and there's all the schemas available in the Express Oracle, the demos that ships with it. And here's the script. And I really only need to focus on this little CTE common table expression, this little temp table that's built in memory. So with vars, and I have two variables, I have a schema name, HR, which is this HR here, because I want to go do a data dictionary for all the tables, and the view. So I can change that to whatever I want. I chose HR. I also added a switch in for show tables only or show views and tables. I'm entering no, which means include the views too. But let's go ahead and execute the script. And it runs, and there's our results. And that is the data dictionary dump. Now I can take and highlight everything and right click and I can copy it out or I can export it. Whatever your SQL IDE is, there will be a way to take this data, pull it out and shove it into Excel. And I'm just going to assume you know how to do that. And finally, a demo for what the output of the data dictionary looks like in Excel. So I took the output from the prior demo, a CSV file, pulled it into Excel and formatted it. I cleaned up the headers and removed under. And finally, a demo for what the output of the data dictionary looks like in Excel. So I took the output from the prior demo, a CSV file, pulled it into Excel, and formatted it. I cleaned up the headers and removed underscores and changed the back color, changed the font, made it look nice. And then uh, I took and removed the lines here. So this big block is a schema, this block is a table, countries, this block is a table, departments, employees. And it's got the ordinal position. That's column one, two, three in order. Whether or not it's a primary key, or primary key and a foreign key, or perhaps it's a unique key. Somewhere in here, there's a unique key. So make sure that employees, there's only one email address, it's not repeating. So anyway, these are very handy bits of information to know about a table, and the column, and the data types, and whether or not it's nullable, and the description. And by running this query, and pulling it up in Excel and formatting it, now you have something that's shareable with your fellow teammates who may not have database access or who may not be savvy enough to write up a query and pull all this information out. So it's, it's nice to have your data model in Excel in a data dictionary or a physical data model. So thank you for watching and please, if you found this video helpful, click like and subscribe. Also check out our other videos and related playlists in the boxes to the right.